Here is Minecraft downloaded, installed and running on my Chromebook. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get Minecraft on your Chromebook. Before we get into this video, make sure to smash that like, subscribe and bell button and make sure to come join my discord down in the description if you happen to face any problem at all. Firstly, copy the Crostini container install flag, then head on over to your Chrome browser, click on it. Now once in your Chrome browser, paste the flag in your search bar and hit enter right away. Now go ahead and click on default and quick fast, Bastar is Debian 10 and Bullseye is Debian 11. If you already have the Linux terminal, use the last bonus command to check your Debian version. Select this and once selected, you may have to restart your Chromebook to get it applied to your Chromebook. Now hit your search bar and type in settings. Once in your settings, click on advanced and go down and click on developers. Now turn on your Linux development environment and once the screen or interface pops up, go ahead and click on next. Now you can change your Linux development environment name to whatever you prefer and you can go ahead and customize the size of your Linux development environment. So I'll make mine 20 because I feel like I'm comfortable with that and hit install. Now once you hit install, all you have to do is wait and then you should have your terminal. Now copy the link for the scheduler configuration flag. Open your browser, paste it in the search bar and hit enter. Now click on default and change it to enables hyper. Once done, minimize the tab. Go back to the links and copy the Costini GPU support link. Go back to your browser, paste it in your search bar and hit enter right away. Likewise, click on default and change it to enabled. Once done, click restart at the bottom right. Copy from code 1 to 6 and whilst doing this, I need you to pay attention to these tips. Just like we said earlier, cross check you are using Debian 11 with the bonus code at the end of the codes list. If you run into an error whilst running a code, it's best advised to rerun the code as either slow Wi-Fi or miscopying the codes could be the cause of the problem. Intel and AMD CPUs are best recommended and are less likely to lead you into a problem. Once done, hit search and type in AT Launcher. It just popped up for me so I'm going to click on it right away. Once AT Launcher loads up, it's going to download and configure some extra files to ensure Minecraft runs perfectly without any errors. This is the main screen and you can go over to your account and log into Minecraft. Also, feel free to tweak the settings to your discretion. This launcher also gives you a huge range of fabric and optifine versions to choose from. And the cherry on the cake is, you get to download and install texture packs from the launcher itself. Feel free to explore the other functionalities like installing mods and many more. And with that said, make sure to smash that like, subscribe and bell button. And make sure to come join my discord down in the description if you happen to face any problem at all.